In order to keep an eye on your systems within the motorhome, uh, Winnebago has provided a monitoring panel. Uh, most motorhomes do have monitoring panels. Our chateaus also have a monitoring panel, a little different style, but has exactly the same functions on it. The first switch you see here is your water heater. Some motorhomes have a gas and an electric water heater. This one has just a gas water heater. And the reason that I can know that is because it says pilot light out, indicating it operates off of gas. To turn on the water heater, you're gonna flip the switch to on. It's a little bit of reverse psychology. When you see the red light, no hot water. When the light goes out, you're getting hot water. That light is indicating that the pilot light is not um, operating. So there the light just went out and you can hear a slight swoosh as the hot water heater lights. So as long as that light is out, you've got hot water. Uh, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to fully heat the hot water tank. The hot water tank is a six gallon hot water tank. Um, so it's not a huge amount of hot water, but it's just enough um, to pull off a nice cleansing Navy shower. Next step is gonna be the levels test. When you hold the button down on the levels test, it'll indicate your levels. At this point, we've got a full battery charge, uh, two thirds on the propane tank. Now, this is normal because propane needs room to expand. So that's actually a full propane tank. Um, fresh water, if you were to have filled your tank, the fresh water be full, gray and black are currently empty. Uh, as this is going to tell you, if you're dry camping, you can see your fresh water going down. Do I have enough water in my tank to be able to take a shower or do dishes? Um, or do I have enough space in my gray or black tank to take a shower or go to the bathroom? So this is a great uh, monitoring panel to be able to monitor your tank levels. Your water pump is the next switch. The only time you use this water pump is when you're not hooked up at a campground. One of the most common questions that we get is I'm hooked up at the campground and I'm hooked up to water. How come I don't have water? Well, probably because your water tank is empty and your pump is on. This only pumps water out of the internal tank. If you're hooked up at a campground, you already have pressure, you don't need water pressure, so the pump would be off as it is right now. When you turn it on, you can see the green light indicating that the pump is on.